Yo, most people think they know what being a Jew or Jewish is when they don't. Even you, reader, are extremely unlikely to know the full extent of these words and their multiple meanings. So I explain. First, the English word Jew comes from the biblical character Jacob's fourth son, Judah. In Hebrew, Yehudai, meaning from the kingdom of Judah. Now, there are four major types of Jews. Those with a Jewish bloodline, those who practice a form of Judaism, Gentiles who serve Jewish interests, and ones who follow God's full revelation as revealed in Jesus Christ. These can sometimes overlap. Expositions. 1. Jewish ethnicity. Originally, ancient Hebrew texts and oral history said slash say there was slash is a chosen people based on race and ethnicity. Though they say that God specifically chose the Hebrews for his revelation and that they were prescribed religious practices and rituals, unlike Christians, they largely refrained from sharing their beliefs, let alone proselytizing. Instead, they were a closed community and remain so until today. Also, their religion was not based on faith. In fact, ancient texts record that Israelites often lacked faith in their God, and anyone outside of the 12 tribes was considered a non-Israelite. Today, around half of Israelites are atheists, the highest percentage of atheists of any ethnic group. Most Jews, though, including religious ones, consider such people fully Jewish if they have an established Jewish bloodline. And most Jews, including religious ones, reject people's claim to be Jewish even if they have adopted a form of Judaism but lack an established Jewish bloodline. And most ethnic Jews treat non-Jews as inferior and privately refer to them by the pejorative term goy and goys. They overly promote Jewish interests to a level of racial supremacy, Zionism. Therefore, being a Jew is more race than religion. Ethnic Jews are often immediately recognized by their names. For instance, Jewish men often have first names based on Old Testament men or tribes, such as Abraham, Benjamin, Isaac, Jacob, or Levi. Last names sometimes start with fish, cats, gold, or silver, and or end with Baum, Berg, Man, Sky, Stein, or Witz. Those with such last names almost always have Jewish ethnicity. Some have changed their names to conceal their Jewish ethnicity. Examples, Rodney Dangerfield was Jacob Cohen. Members of the, the Three Stooges, Mo Curley and Shemp Howard, were Moses, Jerome, and Samuel Horowitz. Larry Fine was Louis Feinberg. Ethnic Jews have white to olive skin, never black, dark brown, or yellow. They often have extra large and or hooked noses. They are more likely to have black hair and brown eyes than Gentile whites, and less likely to have blonde or red hair and blue or green eyes. Curly hair is much more prevalent among ethnic Jews than Gentile whites, and they sometimes have narrower heads. Uh, two, Judaism. Today there are four major branches of Judaism as far as being akin to the original in descending order. Orthodox, Conservative, Reform, and Reconstructionist. But even Orthodox Jews failed to adhere to original Judaism in that animal sacrifice was an integral part of it. But their religious texts specified that no sacrifice was to be made except on the altar of Jerusalem's temple. Since the Romans destroyed Jerusalem and its temple in AD 70, anim animal sacrifices ceased from then until now, and hence no group practices original Judaism. 3. Favoring Jewish Interests Large number of Gentiles are obsequious, groveling, or subservient to ethnic Jews. For instance, politicians such as presidents who publicly wore a kippah or yarmulk hired a disproportionate number of ethnic Jews, approved of their daughters marrying ethnic and religious Jews, or who gave special attention to Israel to the neglect of others. And we have the Hollywood crowd who fawns over the Jews by starring in pro-Jewish movies having Star of David tattoos, loosely adopting Kabbalah, a form of Jewish mysticism, or even adopting a Jewish surname, such as K 
Karen Johnson into Whoopi Goldberg. Both the United States government and Hollywood are infested with liberal Jews. Many work towards subverting and dismantling Gentile white and traditional Christian culture. Then we have some Christian groups who still consider the Jews the chosen people and send massive amounts of money to Israel. This completely contradicts what Christian scripture says about what the Jews have become. These perverted groups should have their buildings bulldozed into the ground and be forced to disband. I shall explain shortly. Four, Christians. Christian texts have references to all true believers in Christ as being the new chosen people of God and those of Hebrew ethnicity no longer being the chosen people unless they embrace Jesus Christ. For example, Romans 2, 28 to 29. For he is not a Jew which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh, but he is a Jew which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart in the spirit, and not of the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. But Christ's followers are rarely called Jews today to avoid confusion. Those who equate Christianity with today's Jews use a faulty line of reasoning called the genetic or origins fallacy by basing someone, Jesus, and something, Christianity, on their origin and source rather than their current meaning or context. They overlook differences found in the present situation, transferring negative esteems from the earlier context. So, this form of argumentation is faulty and wrong-headed. For example, astronomy came from astrology and chemistry came from alchemy, while we understand that such modern disciplines are extremely unlike their predecessors. And all men came from women, but we understand that men are not women or even part women. And according to Christianity, demons were angels, basically the exact opposite. Also, original Christianity opposed the Jews uh, considering their spectacular fall from God's grace. Jesus said to the Jewish religious leaders, Ye are of your father the devil, John 8, 44. And Jews attempt to discredit Christianity. So, completely reject the insane claim that Christians are akin to Jews, especially the extremely insane claim that Jews created Christianity to weaken Gentile whites. Such lunatics should be rebuked and completely dismissed. And again, if you are not an ethnic uh, Jew, do nothing to support uh, their cause. Rather, expose their agenda. 